Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Spike here in the Frugal Fixing Shop, and I'm in the Blue Collar Simulator, and well, we're going to move up a little bit today. I made this homemade mat, and I've been beating on it for six months or so, and uh, I've kind of abused it bad. So, uh, and that and some of my friends hit a little fat, and they've tore the back end of it up. So, yeah, we're going to be taking this out of service, but I'm going to show you how it kind of worked out and how, well, the good and the bad about it, okay, as we take it apart here. Uh, Get the balls all out of the way and put them in a little tub. Get that done so we can get to work. Okay. I designed this one and I done it myself and I done it out of layers. And it's layers of thin plywood and stuff. I'll, I'll link the video so you can go look at that, okay? And I put these inserts down in the floor like this. And I got... Well, four of them I made, and I made one out of Monster Mat, and this one, and a couple others. And they've all, well, they've not held up really good because they're too small, and they're taking all the abuse here, and it's just taking them apart. They just can't take as much. So, yeah, I reached out to somebody that's going to hook me up with something really good, and y'all see the big pile behind me? That's the new thing I got. But, yeah, this just, it done okay, but... The thing, if you're going to build one of these guys, do this for me, okay? Make these bigger, make them longer, because I got friends that hit fat, hit behind the ball, and they hit and done that. And then I turned it around, and they done that. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not the one that hits it that way, but I got friends that do, so I ain't calling their names. So, yeah, I cut the hole out. I had it in here real nice, and I put them in, but every one I put in, they're so small that they're taking all the abuse and just jerking them apart. I used a good glue. I mean, they really, some of the layers are really, look at this, how good this is bonded. I mean, really good job, real good job of bonding here, but the top layers are where you have your problem with this coming apart. And that's just because they beat it, you know, they hit it so hard from at such a down angle. And when you catch that mat right there like that with a, with a wedge or something in that corner, it's going to rip it apart. I mean, and what it does worse is it hurts the arm and the elbow and it hurts you. So, yeah. But yeah, if you're gonna make one, make it longer. It don't have to be wider as much as it does be longer, but it wouldn't hurt to make it twice as long and twice as wide, okay? And uh, this is one I use for my T mat over here. It worked out great. The only thing about this mat that didn't really work out as great as I hoped is the foam I put in this mat has started to already break down a little bit from me standing on it. And uh, there's a layer of foam and layers, I put a little thin plywood, and layer of foam, and, it's just the weight, you're standing in one spot and you can't rotate it and yeah, it's just not gonna work. So yeah, I gave it a go and I gave it a beating and I beat the fool out of it. I mean, guys, I hit 300 balls a day, most time five days a week or so, you know, so. And some days we hit more balls than that, but I very seldom go under 200. So it's been taking abuse and it took a beating and it's just time to do something different. And I reached out for a different path and well, that's what we got in the box behind here. So we're gonna go with that next. So. Yeah, we're going to take this apart and get it out of the way and move it around the corner over there and then we'll finish tearing it up later. You know, it's got this little hook here on the front and you put a hook in it so you can raise it up and it's got wheels. So you roll it around the garage and it worked great. I mean, to roll it up and put it against the wall out of my way. And it's that's the good thing about it. I do like that, but it's pretty heavy. And um, this one behind me is even heavier. I didn't figure that out by getting it into the shop. That's why I got the hand trucks. That is one heavy machine, yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to stand it up here like this, and then I'll walk it on here out of the way and get it out of the shop. Goodbye to the to a Spike's homemade tea box. It done good, but I found something that I think I really want much better. So a reasonable price mat. Now this is a, a $69 mat that I used, and I used it for six months, and uh, I got no complaints. First thing I done when I got it was cut a hole in it. I mean, it hit a few times off of it, and then I cut a hole and started making my own strips. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Had a lot of fun with it and beat it to death. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to move on to the new better things and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this on out of here and i got to move you out of the way to do it. So yeah, I'm going to shut you down and I'm going to get this done right quick. So hey, do me a favor, guys. Y'all come back on the next video and check out what I got. The new new map coming over. Check it out. It'll be out here tomorrow. Maybe in just a little while. So I'm going to drop one, drop the other, and then I'm going to get back to making my videos and back to moving on a bunch of things I got going around here. I got projects in the CNC room. I got guitars in the guitar room. And I've kind of decided that I can't do one thing, so I'm not going to be just golf, and I'm not going to be just CNC, and I'm not going to be just shopsmith, 
and I'm not going to be just guitars. I'm going to be me. And so me is doing all the crazy stuff that I do. I mean, so drones, uh, whatever I want to do at the time, that's what it's going to be, okay? And uh, the gold prospecting stuff, I'm putting it out for sale, and it's going on the market. And I've got a buyer right now, and if they want it, it's theirs. If they don't, then it'll go on the open market. So uh, I'm getting out of the gold prospecting business. I'm just tired of messing with it, okay? So, yeah, let me get this out of here and get this busy. And, hey, do me a favor. Come back a little while and check out the next new stuff. And... Uh, Take care of yourselves. Okay, do it for me. Take care of yourselves. And a frugal fixer idea is, well, sometimes it's a good one, and sometimes we can beat it to death, and it wasn't that good an idea. And I'd say this one was good, but not that good. Yeah. That'll stay. Good. Locked up against the thermal former machine out of my way. Hey, y'all be good. Let's get busy on the new one. I'll show it to you in a few minutes. Let's go.